The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the uh, September 16th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find a gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. And if you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there too. Go ahead, send me an email. Send it off quickly. Not quickly, but soon. And send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough like Michael does, he wrote in radio show question. Of course, in our Tigers Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, all the indices trading downward, with the exception of the trannies. They're up 26 points. The Dow's off 156, the S&P 20, NASDAQ 73, Russell 6, semis 13. New York Stock Exchange is off 72. Gold is down 39.50. Silver's off a buck five. Lightspeed crude is down 35 cents. Natural gas back 16 pennies. Lead the charge dollar-wise. The upside it is Chipotle up 23 bucks, a little over one percent. HubSpot up 20 dollars, three percent. Lithia Motors five percent or 15 buckaroonies. Upstart Holdings 15 bucks or five percent. Align Technologies about 15 as well. That is two percent. The big loser dollar-wise to the downside is Booking Holdings off 36 bucks. Google is off 25. BlackRock down. 24 intuitive surgicals off 15 and pool corporation is down 12 that's about two and three quarters percent let's just begin by taking a look at the equity future contracts out here so one of the things that we know is that the es mini in fact did form a new daily profile this profile here on the daily basis wraps around the prior profile that generates a signal of a market that is going to consolidate in between those levels 44, 36, 75 at the bottom and 45, 28, 75 at the top. Now, there is a new profile that's attempting to form here in the Dow. So I'm just going to switch over to that. That's panel number two from the right and three from the left. This panel here shows support at 34, 477 and resistance at 35, 065. So the profile we looked at yesterday inside the uh, Dow that did not take hold last night. I do not know whether this one will take hold or not. Back to the NQ. What's the NQ doing? We know that the NQ has support, and its key level to watch is 1530195. That is the top of the weekly profile. If price gets down inside that or closes below that, I should say, then we're looking at a move to about the 15102 area. And if the ES Mini were to close below 4436, that would signal move back to 4410. That's the center of its weekly profile. The Russell 2000, um, you know, it's just hanging out at the center of its weekly profile. So nothing really more for me to report there. The Dow has tested and rejected the bottom of that new daily uh, profile out there. So that's the daily time frame. Why don't we go look at some short-term time frames? Excellent idea. Let's go do it. Here's the 30-minute charts. So what do we know about the 30-minute charts for the equity futures contracts? Well, we know a couple of things. Number one, for example, in the ES Mini, this is a little piercing candle right here at 11 o'clock and that confirms an a to b equals cd down pattern out here and price i'm gonna go ahead and remove that now just so we get rid of some clutter 
And now price is consolidating with inside its daily bullish structured profile. But what is it that stopped price where it did, kind of dead in its tracks? Excellent question. The answer is Stevie's red and green line, the oscillator and change line. So what we can see here is if there's just a counter trend move, and that's what the signal is at this moment, then the oscillator and change line will hold. If price closes above that, 44.52, you'd expect an anticipated run to 44.58. It's really the 44.58 number to the upside that you would be paying attention to. If price closed over that, the signal is higher price, higher to where? Could get up to 44.83. Uh, but right now, that is not the signal. But watch that level, 44.52. Again, it's a bullish structure profile. You'd expect or anticipate that on a move lower, 44.37.50 would hold. So that's on the ES mini. You can see on the NQ out here, you also see an A to B equals CD down pattern, like a 1 to 2.618. This generated a bullish engulfing candle. So whereas we had a little piercing candle back here on the ES mini, let's go ahead and get rid of that A to B equals CD down pattern inside the NQ. This was a bullish engulfing. Now, price was able to close above the top of its profile. So the NQ, now if we get two consecutive closes, so this candle does not close for another 18 minutes. But if you wrote down this on your sheet of paper, 15,427.15, if price closes above 15,427.15, come 2.30, you'll have two consecutive closes above the uh, profile. Now, what price is also doing as we take a look at the NQ, it is trading above its oscillator and change line. So the NQ is a bit more, I say just a bit more bullish than the 30-minute ES mini because at least price has overcome that area. In fact, this is saying, hey, maybe more than a counter trend rally. We can't say that. I know I just did. We can't say that until price closes above 15,477.25. So here's what we would expect and anticipate. If price closes above the top of its profile, that's the NQ, we would expect price to make its way up to the TD9 breakdown level of 15,477. So slightly different message than the ES out there, but it is what it is. Let's go take a look at the Dow equity future contract. Now here, we have no A to B equals CD down pattern. Why? Because we had that spike higher just as the market was opening during that 9.30 to 10 o'clock uh, session out here. And so price and spike tire, there's no way for me to put it into A to B equals CD pattern. Price is trading with inside a bullish structured profile. You'd be watching for any closes below 34.455 says it's curtains. And those curtains say price would head lower. If we take a look at what has stopped the advance in the Dow, it is its oscillator and change line. And that's printing right now at about 34,573. As price moves up or down, that would be the level to watch. If price closes above that area, you'd expect to run to 34,661 or maybe even 34,740. That is the Dow equity future contract. Now, what the Dow was not able to do today was take out its prior lows. And so there's that Rhodes Mintum indicator signal uh, from yesterday that we were talking about. Okay, let's finish this off by taking a look at the Russell 2000. What has the Russell 2000 done? Well, just like the Dow, I don't have the ability. I, I have the ability, but there's no A to B equals CD down pattern out here. So we've got two that did, two that don't. Here's what we know about the Russell 2000. She, too, closed above the top of its profile at 1 o'clock. That number is 2223, trading back below it now. But in 16 minutes, as this bar closes, if you, uh, if you, and I'm talking about happy hour, you know, when I say this bar closes, if price closes above 22.23, that'll be happy hour for the bulls. And that'll then suggest a run to the 22.29 level. I know you're wondering what's at 22.29, Steve-O. Excellent question. That's the TD9 breakdown level for the Russell 2000. When we get back from this break, we're going to go take a look at December cotton. No, not December cotton. December wheat for Michael W. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, so uh, Michael W. wrote in early and is wants to take a look at the uh, December wheat contract. And that's what we have up on our screen right now with uh, no technical tools or anything uh, out here. If we're just taking a look at this, I mean, it looks like an A to B equals CD to the upside that uh, set up this uh, Three River Evening Star. There was an A to B equals CD to the downside. That A to B equals CD to the downside, Michael, looks like this. It was basically a perfect one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern. But with the confirmation came on this day right here, this day being September 13th. September 13th was a uh, bullish hammer candle. So you have a confirmed by the uh, D point. Now, uh, from a Fibonacci standpoint, if we do that, all by the D points have five different, in this case here, this is a Gartley, out, uh, Gartley uh, buy pattern. Uh, Gartley patterns require, oh, I got to grab the wrong tool, sorry. Uh, Gartley patterns require, I think default will do this, uh, have five different potential outcomes. The first outcome, just simply from a retracement standpoint, I know I don't do this too often. Let's get rid of the A to B equals CD pattern out here uh, for the moment. I'll just turn that off. And uh, so you can see that the, the first bounce is, uh, it would be the first price objective is the 0 0.382 level. That's at 718.60. It basically got there. The actual high so far of the day is 716.60. Uh, so you're really right around that uh, range. This would be an area where you would anticipate that uh, some people might get off the elevator. Uh, it, that would just be normal. If we look at the uh, TAS market profiles out here, we're going to see that price is trading above. So price is trading into a resistance area. That resistance area is its bullish structured profile. If I turn price off, you'll see that the center of this box, which is at 710.60, is closer in proximity to the top, which is 727.50 versus the bottom at, at 682.50. So this becomes your resistance zone. 
And again, that zone is between, which it's in right now, 710 and 720, 720, 750. If price can close above 720, 750, then price should make it to its next level. That next level being the 0.618 retracement area of 744.50 and above that 786 and so on and so forth. If we take a look at trend lines out here, and I turn off the TAS market profiles, you'll see that right now price is really trading in between uh, trend line support and trend line resistance, those diagonal lines that are up on the screen. So this, in, that, in essence, is the full December contract with all of Stevie's tools out there. Uh, the only other thing that we can do, which we will, by the way, is go take a look at the white background charts. So on the white background charts, we're just trying to see if there's anything else that we can see. So did I mention this? I probably did. If I didn't, I probably didn't. Uh, which is price right now, Michael, is also targeting the resistance of that oscillator and change line. It is slightly above it as we speak right now. So close above that would be bullish and suggest to move up to the 727.63 level. I don't know. I'm going to have to come in. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't really have a ton of information on the uh, weekly since we're using that December contract. Short term, why if I look at a 30 minute time frame chart, this did form a Rhodes momentum indicator top out here. This was at about three o'clock in the uh, morning and went on to. Make an A to B equals CD to the downside. But right now on a 30-minute basis, price is above the top of its profile. So that is uh, bullish and suggests that price tries to make a run for the uh, highs. Uh, I guess not the high of the day, the highs of, uh, not the high of yesterday. It must have been a, well, that's interesting. What is this? It'll at least make a run for this uh, 7, 6, what is it, 7, uh, 7, 16, 75 level. So, Michael, I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for uh, writing in. Next question from the uh, Tiger's Den is from Mr. Bill. And Mr. Bill wanted to take a look at uh, support or resistance, really resistance levels, I believe, or TAS market profile levels for Chipotle. I haven't looked at Chipotle for quite a while out here, Mr. Bill. Quite frankly, was surprised to see that it's trading up at 1900 Man, what a rocket ship for just a fast food restaurant. Okay, so uh, with regard to profiles, the only profiles for you to be concerned with at this stage here with regard to CMG is going to be the daily, which is uh, support or the bottom, which price is up above right now is 1890.49. And this is a bearish structured profile. So a close above 1930.89 would be a very bullish message. So let's take a look at the daily time frame chart out here using the white background charts. We can't see a road's momentum indicator signal. I don't have any real bottoming pattern or anything out here, but price is back above the bottom of that profile, Mr. Bill, very likely targeting that resistance zone 1920 to 1930. On the weekly time frame, what do we have? Um, no confirmed topping uh, signal or anything on the weekly basis. On a monthly time frame, no confirmed topping signal. The 30-minute time frame formed a nice roads momentum indicator bottom at about 10 o'clock. This was on the uh, 14th out here, and it's had a nice run. Where price is headed to is the 1920-41 level. That's the TD9 breakdown area. So that is Chipotle, Mr. Bill. I hope that helps you out with regard to that instrument, and best of luck to you. Next question coming in. Uh, by email. This one is coming in from David H. David says, hey, Steve, do you see from the charts whether or not a firm, that's not the horse out there, um, wasn't a firm, wasn't uh, one of the uh, Kentucky Derby winners a firm? Was a firm a uh, triple crown winner? Uh, not much of a horse race uh, guy out there, uh, only because of, you know, the, because of the first, uh, my very first horse race that I went to. Uh, a F R M, um, and and so that you understand my dyslexia, out here, uh, we were given a uh, we were given a and I was just a kid. When I say kid, I was 16, 17, uh, but I was a big kid. So uh, nobody carded me, uh, even if you had to be 18 at that stage or 21 even to uh, to bet. It was probably 18, I'm sure. But um, a buddy, uh, a friend of a friend of mine, knew some guys that worked. 1978 Triple Crown. Okay, thanks, Top Dog. I thought thought it was. Um, that's a firm. Let me get the firm charts out here while I'm babbling. So any, in any event, the, the, the short story is we got the uh, perfecta. That's, a, that's what two horses, right? A perfecta? Yeah, a trifecta would be three out there. So we got the perfecta. And let's just say it was five and three. And so uh, I went up to the I took all I took the money that we assembled together, you know, as poor kids. And uh, so we took our lawn cutting money, our newspaper money, and we put it down on the uh, on the perfecta for that race. Five, three. And in fact, that's how the race came in. Now, I don't remember if it was five and three, okay, out there, but the, but what we were told actually came in. And you can imagine my friends were pretty happy campers until they looked at the ticket that I purchased, which was three five. So Stevie is not much 
of a uh, gambler out there. Uh, and uh, not big on the horses after that first win. But in any event, with regard to a firm, the question is from David in Panama City. Hey, David, I hope that uh, you guys uh, weathered okay through those uh, through that uh, nasty hurricane that came uh, through there. Panama City's been hit by a few over the uh, years. But uh, the specific question is, Will do the chart suggest that a firm will be able to take out the recent swing point at 126.46? Boy, that, that one's tough to call. Um, yeah, I know I should have boxed it. <laughs> uh, Dan, I was literally 15, 16 years old. I know I wasn't 17 um, at that uh, stage. And what did I know about horse racing? Zip. Uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't stumble uh, at the window looking like I knew nothing. So, you know, I, I walked up there, you know, sporting my big chest or what have you. And, uh, you know, put the money down and said, you know, give me five and three in the perfect on, you know, whatever the race was. Uh, and, you know, didn't want to, didn't want to blow it uh, that way. You know, that's like, uh, in any event, I, 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 it's, it's a family show that we have here. So I won't tell you the, the, the next story, but in any event, with regard to whether is a firm going to be able to get up to test the top of that profile, that or the top of that uh, day, that day has volume up there of about 54 million. You only got 12 million right now, but I'm not seeing any signs yet in a firm to suggest that it won't be able to do that. But we'll actually look at the charts. I won't tell any stories when we come back from this break. We'll finish out, take a look at a firm in just a few. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So David's question was actually can't affirm get to that uh, to get to 126.46 by tomorrow. So this must be an options trade out there. And um, I guess the, the that possibility uh, you'd have a better outcome if we see on the 30 minute time frame a close above 118.40. So as we take a look at this one, uh, this 30 minute time frame, it's got a TD9 count top. Price is above the profiles, price is above the oscillator and change line. Price should be able to take this out. You can see it's inside this gap out here. You know, the bottom of that gap at 124.60, that could be a real resistance level as well. Um, so by tomorrow, it's just impossible for me to say. But here is a pattern to be looking at that could say, hey, that's not likely to happen if you see price turn down. But a close above 118.40 on a 30 minute time frame looks good. Otherwise, the daily and weekly charts do suggest that price is going to get back up there. It just doesn't tell me that that's going to happen by a certain time uh, tomorrow. David, I wish I was that good. I really do. Because if I was, I would give you that answer. I just can't. Dan writes in, Dan F. And uh, this is Dan from New York City. Hey, Dan, thanks so much for listening and writing in. Uh, you'd like to start a position in AGFY. So let's go take a look at AGFY, see what it is, and get some type of feel for uh, what it's doing and where it's trading into. So it's trading inside a bullish structure daily profile. And this is a AgriFi. AgriFi Corporation. I'm going to go with a guess here, a wild guess. You are going to fill in the blank uh, between a, 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 you know, wild and guess. And I'm going to take a wild guess that this is an agriculture company, but I probably not even close. In any event, price is your question is you'd like to start a uh, position. And, uh, and yesterday you asked about POWW. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this. So with regard to ag a AgriFi, let's just see if there's some kind of bottom pattern as the price was approaching the bottom of that daily profile. And voila, the answer is yes. You have a TD9 count bottom. Uh, you've got an A to B equals CD to the downside that was confirmed as well. So you've got two bottoming signals. You're inside a bullish structured profile. All price really needs to do here is close above the center of that profile, 2287. And that'll suggest to move up to 2499, then 2634, and then 2895. Those last three numbers are your battles that price should take on. So you do have a valid bottom. Um, you're looking to begin a position. I don't have a reason to tell you not to do that. Short term wise, I don't have any signals really of a, a top to say, hey, wait for some type of retracement. Uh, but if you're asking is uh, AGFY a buy, the answer is yes. And uh, the weekly chart out here, I don't have anything to assist us there. Uh, let's go take a look at POWW as well. Um, I'm going to do POWW on a different uh, set of charts. It won't take as long to populate. And this way, we're just looking, Dan, at the daily and the 30-minute uh, time frame. So what we'd like to look at here, the reason that Dan wrote back about it is because we had a TD9 count. And uh, that formed yesterday. And we know that a lower low can take place today and still maintain that pattern out here. If we look at so if today we're the bottom and it's not going to give us that signal, I can already tell you that because on the 30 minute time frame, we don't have a bottom pattern out here. So I'm still going to suggest that you wait on this. Um, I'm still going to suggest that that you that you wait on on, on this one here. Uh, and I guess what I really should have done is done it on the other time frames. I'm going to do that for you anyways. And, and I'll just tell you a story in between. I'm just kidding. I will uh, do it anyways and not tell you a story and hope that they cross my fingers here that this thing populates quickly. Okay, I think that it did. So that's good. So with regard to POWW, I just want to look at the shorter term, 15-minute chart out here. Yeah, nothing that, uh, that floats my skirt. Certainly not on the uh, 30, 65-minute. Nope. Um, so I, uh, this is what I would say, Dan, from New York City. I'd say uh, we liked AGFY because that's got a confirmed bottom. And let's just take a look back at this. Uh, now, tomorrow I'm going to do the show from 8 to 9. So we're not going to have any information uh, there on uh, that one uh, to help you with. Um, but you're looking for some type of pattern on a uh, short term time frame, like a 30 minute time frame, to form a bottom and then be able to take out resistance. So I hope that that helps you out. Dan and I would like you to listen in tomorrow at 8 o'clock if you uh, can. Hector. And the fuel injectors, this happy, uh, thirsty, throttle Thursday. Oh, okay, that's because we were doing tequila Tuesday. We can't have tequila two days in a row. Not two days in a row, but two days during the week, can we? Yeah, we could if we wanted to. But the question here from Hector is, um, GDX, you've been a bear on GDX. However, to, however, today's washout has you wanting to load up the wagon 
for a great pop-up here. So let's take a look at uh, GDX. Let me get that going on my white background charts out here and uh, see if that makes uh, sense for Hector to do. So let's pull over the GDX. They're just going to go right to the white background charts out here. The GDX right now is printing out at uh, about uh, 3080 down to buck 46. And uh, what this is doing, Hector, is it's retesting the prior swing point. So I'm going to go back. I'm assuming it's testing it on uh, on higher volume out there. Uh, so we'll come back and take a look at this. You've got still a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal trigger. That's the only pattern that's out here, but that needs a bullish reversal candle. And even though I go to like a 15-minute time frame chart, I don't have a signal for a bottom. 30-minute time frame chart, I do have wave number seven, but no levels of resistance being taken out here. So it's just somewhat questionable. Nothing on 65, nothing on 35, nothing on a... Uh, 195 minute chart out here. So uh, let's look at the volume uh, makeup here. For that, we're going to go over to the black background charts and just get a feel for is is a GDX testing that prior swing point with volume. And if it is Hector and price closes inside it, then that suggests that that swing point would be tested again tomorrow. So the swing point is from August 20th, 18. Yeah, 18 million shares. You're already at 32 million shares. I kind of suspected that there was volume there. So um, The weekly chart had volume of 152 million, and you're coming in really light. So I'm looking at panel number two. I'm just going to expand it out so nobody gets confused. So here's the swing point that it's dealing with, and it's testing the bottom of that swing point, weekly basis. And if it closes above 3064, that's a test and rejection of a key swing point on lighter volume. Now, you don't get out of Dodge until price closes above 3221. Uh, but with regard to price moving down in that swing point, the daily swing point with volume, I'd say wait till tomorrow, um, unless you just want to take an aggressive trade, which you can uh, most certainly doing, knowing that on this weekly basis, we're not seeing the volume to break out that swing point. Um, and uh, just you know that your average true range over the last 10 trading sessions is 81 pennies. So your stop needs to be 81 cents. And I would multiply that times 1.618. I don't know what that is, a buck 20, somewhere around those, uh, somewhere around that area, buck 20, a buck 30. And so you'd use that as your stop if you want to take an aggressive trade. So uh, Hector, I hope that that helps you out. Um, you know, the only other thing that I can, that I can share with you or show to you uh, would be, you know, and if I take a look at this market update, U.S. dollar index is right now tinkering with the top of its daily profile. I've got a 10-minute delay here. 92.90 is the top, and I've got 92.91 as to where price is trading at. Um, and the reason why you're taking a look at that is, you know, is the move lower? Was this just a washout in uh, gold out here? If the U.S. dollar index is able to close below the top of that profile, it's still just in a consolidation pattern, Hector. And we could say we, we would have logical reasons to go ahead and do what you're attempting to do out there. So I hope that helps you out. Stevie Babble out here. Dow's down 172. S&P's up 22. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, phone lines are open, 877-927-6648. You can always email me, Steve, at TFNN.com. Uh, do that right away if there is something that you would like me to uh, take a look at. Put a radio show question in the uh, Tiger's Den, if you uh, would. So we've got no requests at this stage of the uh, game, um, and I'm not really sure what direction we should take this in. So we're just going to kind of scan around through the uh, charts out here, see if there's anything interesting that uh, pops up for us to uh, take a look at. Uh, so nothing new. We've already covered everything with regard to market profiles. If we're, if we're looking at signals here, you can see that you've got the ES, the Dow and the Russell 2000 just consolidating with inside their weekly profiles. Closing below the bottom of weekly profile is really the uh, indicator of a change in trend. Uh, here, if we go back to the Dow equity future contract, you can see once uh, back in February of 2020, once price closed below, the bottom of its weekly profile that was the week of 224 2020 out there that led to much lower prices so the real key level here is not the bottom of the daily profile it's going to be the bottom of the weekly profile for the dow equity future contract that is at 34 276 um as we take a look at our four quads out here this is the es mini and as we take a look at the ES Mini, uh, really nothing bearish here because price hasn't broken through the bottom of a daily profile. So the uptrend still is in place out here. It has resistance. That is the ES Mini at 4507. 4507 is the top of the weekly profile. And then at 452875, that is the top of the daily profile. Again, that daily profile is suggesting to you and I that we should prepare for a consolidation. What does that mean to Stevie? That means we don't get to see the highs get taken out or the lows get taken out, likely this week or next week out here. And, uh, and so mentally, you should prepare for that. Uh, with regard to your intraday type uh, trading out there, a market going in both directions. With regard to the NQ, the NQ, the, the read here is, is a little interesting. Again, you've got daily, then you go weekly. Let me just expand this uh, weekly one up a bit. And then you've got monthly in the lower left and quarterly on the uh, lower right. So on the daily time frame, absolutely, price is below the bottom of that uh, daily profile. And any counter trend rally should find resistance at about the 15,568 level. 
But even though price is below the bottom of the daily profile, it is above the top of the weekly profile. So it becomes very difficult to call this much of a, uh, a signal of, uh, but to, to really look out below. We would change that approach or we would change that view if, in fact, the NQ on a weekly basis could close below 15,301.95. That is the top of the profile. So its signal, quite frankly, is more neutral. We take a look at just simply profiles out here. We know there's an existing TD9 count top on the daily, but really the, the, the signal here is, is more neutral than it is anything else. If we take a look at the Dow equity future contract, the Dow is trying to form a new profile, the bottom of which is uh, so far has held. But because we don't know if this profile is going to take uh, place or not, we don't know if we'll uh, we won't know that till this evening. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, on the weekly we can see that consolidation between 34276 and 35238 out there. It's also a new profile that is formed on the uh, monthly time frame, so it's got some real resistance. Resistance levels are not necessarily in this order. 35065 potentially that will be confirmed or may be confirmed tonight. 35238 and 35,431. Those are the resistance levels for the Dow. Let's finish this off by taking a look at the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000, down below the bottom of its daily profile, consolidating with inside the weekly profile. And you can see just a long-term consolidation. This is a weekly chart that we're looking at. can easily take us back into the, uh, 20, the early 2021 uh, time frame out here. Resistance is at 2317, 2296, and 2357.50. Now look at the New York Stock Exchange. What do we see out here? Hasn't taken out on a closing basis yesterday's low. There's no real signal here. The advanced client oscillator is still below zero. Uh, so this tells us sellers are the ones that are in control. If this closed above zero two consecutive days in a row, that would uh, change that message. That's not the message that we have at the moment. The VIX. The VIX, what we're watching for is the 50-day exponential moving average. So long as the uh, VIX remains above that level, that level is 1789, that can always create downside action inside the ES mini. Well, if you look to the chart to the right of that, the downside action right now is at 443675. That's the bottom of this new profile. So you need to close below that. And if we do that, get that, along with the spot volatility being above the 50-day exponential moving average, well, then that could easily signal move down to the center of its weekly profile. That's at 4312. Global flow of capital, what do these charts tell us? Well, these charts take a look at the last 37 trading weeks, and it lets us know how each of these instruments are performing in terms of U.S. dollars, euros, yen, and pounds. As we take a look at what the, the winner out here, well, so far the winner is Lightspeed Crude. Uh, since the beginning of the year, it's up 51% uh, uh, out there. It's rate of change, 51%. And commodities, they're second. They're up 33%. So we already see the inflation. That's just simply right here. But as we look at equity instruments out here, you've got the ES Mini, which is up about 20% in terms of U.S. dollars, 24% in terms of euros, 27% in terms of yen, and about 19% in terms of Great British pounds. The uh, the NQ is up 19%, so it's in line with the ES Mini, the Russell 13, and the Dow is up 14%. Is there a global flow of capital in the U.S.? Can't say that it's just concentrated in the U.S. Why can't we say that? Well, because if you look at the DAX, it's also up 14 percent. If you take a look at the Australian 200 market out there, that's up 14 percent as well. But as we look at other markets out there, you know, not so much. So is there their capital certainly is flowing into the U.S. We see that in the U.S. dollar. We see that in the U.S. treasuries. We see that in the U.S. stock markets out here. And um, when the should should things get crazy overseas they're a little bit crazy in uh, in china at this stage here and uh, you know i'd venture to say they're a little bit crazy over in europe but if the blank begins to hit the fan uh we will see the dollar rise probably u.s treasuries rise gold rise and the u.s market and then then we'll know then we'll know the global flow of capital has really hit the shores of the uh, U.S. If we take a look at anything unusual in the uh, currency marketplace, because this is some place we always want to take a look at, why do we want to do that? Well, if there's going to be a war, before the war actually begins, somebody knows. And what we'll see is we will see capital flows move. So here we're just taking a look at the one-day rate of change, the 37-week uh, period uh, rate of change out there. Biggest uh, winner 
uh, percentage-wise, biggest rate of change out here so far is coming from the Argentine peso out here. It's had about a 17% move. Uh, right behind that is the Turkish lira. Um, what other large moves do we have out here? Uh, not much. Well, I guess it would be helpful for me to put up the, the actual U.S. dollar contract out there. It is the December contract, and it's up 3.5% since the uh, beginning of the year. Um, so what else do we want to uh, take a look at? Well, we've got about seven seconds as we go into this break here. So here is just simply again, here's the chart of the U.S. dollar gold. U.S. dollar on the right-hand side, right up at the top of its daily profile. But if it closes above 92.90, price could run up to 93.18. That could put pressure on silver, which has held the bottom of its weekly profile. That's at 22.77. And uh, gold, just making the A to B equals CD down pattern, but it's going to take a, at least a day or two, I would say, before it could generate a bullish reversal. See Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few moments. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're going to close out this show with Jerry in uh, Beantown. Uh, Jerry wants to take a look at the uh, at the uh, daily and weekly TAS market profile levels. Ticker symbol here is NGVC. That is natural grocers by Vita. 
college, a cottage out here. And uh, Jerry, you're probably not going to like this. A uh, price is trading below all profile levels, well below the daily. That was at 1122. Now below the weekly at 1053, and now below the monthly at 1159. So uh, Jerry, I think uh, since we have given you that information, uh, and you can see it on the screen, uh, that's not that's not enough. We can't just end it there. I can't do that. Uh, we've got to go take a look at the actual charts. So here, as we take a look at the daily time frame, and you've got your eight panel charts out here, the daily is going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count. And tomorrow should be bar number nine as long as price closes below 1063. And that seems like a likely outcome. So bar number eight, nine, or the bar following nine, can be those candles or those bars that identify the bottom. So which one is it? Well, we look to the short-term time frame charts. I've got a 15, a 30, a 65, a 130, and a 195. The 15 minute shows a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. The price closed over 1017. That suggests that this could be a bottom worth buying. The 30 minute says the same thing a confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. The top of its profile is 1017. You've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom on the 65 chart. There, you need to close above 1041. And uh, nothing on the 130 or the 195 minute chart. So you've got three intraday charts that uh, tell you that it's trying to attempt to form that bottom. You'd like to see at least one level of resistance fail, even though that means buying at a higher price out there, because if price just gets up to the 1017, that's where a counter trend rally would stall. Uh, so you'd want to see closes above resistance levels. So Jerry and Beantown, thanks so much for writing in and helping me close out the show out here. I hope that helps you out. Best of luck to you in that uh, trade. Folks, stay tuned. You've got two more wonderful hours up next. you got David White. He's got a special host coming up, Tim Ord. So watch the Power Trading Hour. And Tom O'Brien, as always, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. So please tune in. We'll be recording the show between 8 and 9. We'll make it as uh, valuable for the 1 o'clock show as we possibly can. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.